Happy New Year! Uh, today I'm uh, recording when I'm standing because I was going to look for my book. It has some very nice points that I have to tell you. Realistic resolutions for 2020. That is what I'm going to be speaking to you today because I want us to be realistic. So many times you're doing resolutions. Every year we're writing resolutions but they're not realistic. Oh, I want to buy uh, this and this. I want to do this and this. Big things which they're not realistic and they will not take you towards your goal. And I penned down last evening these few points that I'm going to give you here. They're actually just uh, one, two, three. They're about 12 points of how you can make some realistic resolutions for 2020. We want to grow in life. We want to grow in our social life, we want to grow in our business, we want to grow in whichever thing that you're doing. And this is the reason I decided I have to make some very, very realistic resolutions today. So if you're ready, let's get started. <music> Track your weekly or monthly spending. <laughs> Have you ever sat down and asked yourself, how on earth did I buy this? How on earth did I pay for this bill? How on earth did I pay and, you know, all those kind of things that you do. Have you ever gone to a restaurant, you're going to eat food uh, just for yourself alone, and then while you're scrolling your mobile phone, you make a few phone calls here and there. Hey, my friend, how are you doing? How's long time? Hey, I'm also in town. Where are you? Then all of a sudden, your friend comes in with a team of other people, friends of his or whichever. And at the end of the day, you end up spending and paying all these bills for all these people. I like one thing. <laughs> I know it's, it's, a, it's a bit unlogical, but I like when I'm going out with, uh, let's say, like... Uh, this uh, visitors always visit me travelers mostly travelers have one funny thing it doesn't matter from which country whether african whether whites whether asians whichever place travelers have one single thing they stick to their budget if you go with them to a hotel to a restaurant and the bill comes they will say okay i ate this here is my bill waiter i pay they don't they don't pay for bills that they have not planned. Unless they tell you, hey, I'm taking you out for lunch. But us, all the time we overspend in different things. We go to a shop, you're going to look for a shoe, you end up buying a whole wardrobe. Please, keep track of your spending. Number two, have a quiet time every morning. Have you ever sat down and had a peaceful morning just with yourself? After you wake up, just sit at the bedside or just stay at the balcony. Just have two, three, four, ten minutes of your quiet time. No social media, no nothing, no music, no nothing. Just reflect with your mind. Open up new ideas for the day. Make sure that you're feeling, you're feeling the vigor. Feel the day. Feel. You may spend that ten minutes or five minutes reflecting with yourself and thinking, about the day and you end up making it much more better than you ever thought reflection is key to success that's why sometimes we even do meditation like in the morning i use an app called head headspace in the morning you just put some it it guides you on how to meditate in the morning just to reflect on the day how you're going to feel breathe in breathe out and it gives you a lot of energy as the day begins and you start it with a lot of power number three read at least three books in a year three books in a year some of us especially me even if i'm telling you this point i'm not a bookworm i don't love reading books but what i do i watch a lot of youtube videos which are training me on my art and on my area of business i watch a lot of videos you may not be a bookworm but there's google Read something on Google. Watch something on YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. If you check very well, all the time. Watching, watching, watching. Not just watching those fun videos. Fun videos are good. They have their time. But watch something which will teach you a new skill, a new idea. Something that you've never known. 
that is the best way to start your day and of course make sure that if you're a bookworm as well at least three books you can do five you can do six it depends with you number four learn a new skill learn a new skill that will help you on your field of trade learn a new skill skills are important in business even if you're employed and you don't improve in your skill your boss will always be on your case but if you're improving yourself you know a new software how to operate uh, a new machine if it's at the workplace you know how to do graphic design different from what you are doing so you've embedded yourself you have if you're a farmer you have understood a new skill in farming you have understood a new skill in doing your art whichever thing that you're doing learn something new because the world is advancing at a very fast rate it's advancing and you can't afford to be left behind because if you're left behind it's going to cost you a lot learn something new in your area of work area of expertise or even in another different field learn something new Number five, find another outlet to make money. Life is becoming very expensive. If you have noticed, every day we are having news and news and news of people going bankrupt, people getting uh, retrenchments from uh, different companies. Every day, just one day, your boss can wake up and tell you, don't come tomorrow, there is no work. You saw what SportPesa did the other day. All those people who are working with Spot Pesa, all of a sudden, there is no work. You're going back home. Companies are, are, are letting off people. Please have something extra for yourself. Even if it's a, it's a small shop where you're selling only milk and bread, just have something which can bring you an extra income. Don't always just focus on one thing alone. You know, I, I know that point is down there, focusing on one thing. But I'll speak it in a different way. Don't just put all your eggs in one basket please have something extra that you can do for yourself that can bring you money that can bring you money it will make your 2020 to be so realistic uh number six have a to-do list to-do list to-do list is a list of the things that you're going to do for the day you wake up in the morning and you write, I'm going to this meeting at 10 a.m. I'm going to meet this person. I'm going to buy this book. And then after that, I'll make a phone call at this time. And then I'll go and uh, have some lunch with some guy here, a friend of mine. And then I will do this and then I'll do this. And in the evening, I'll watch a video and then I'll watch a movie and my day will be done. A to-do list is very important. Why? It plans your day. It plans everything that you have to do for the day. If you don't have a to-do list, this is what happens. Have you ever gone to town? You're going to meet four people. Very important meetings. And you go, and on the first person that you meet, he gives you some very nice stories, very nice ideas, and you keep there and laughing and enjoying your time. And at the end of the day, you discover, I never went to the other three meetings. Why? Because you did not have a to-do list. And you end up wasting your whole day because of only a simple thing that you could have done for five to ten minutes early in the morning. Please, make a to-do list. For your day, for your week, for your month, for your year, just plan everything that you want to do for uh, for those periods of time number seven go somewhere you've never been go somewhere you've never been it's so magical when you travel out you get to understand how people do other things they say go out and learn that is not only your mother who knows how to cook there are other people who know how to cook well if you're born let's say for example born in machacos I'm a Kamba, I'm from Machakos, born in Machakos, you study at Machakos Primary, you go to Machakos Secondary, you go to Machakos Technical uh, College, you get a job at Machakos, you work there at Machakos, you do everything Machakos, and at the end of the day you get old and you go to Machakos, you, you know, home for the old people. Come on, guys. You will just keep on going round and round and round and round without opening your mind because wealth is not where you are. Even the Bible says that a person is not respected at their home. They are respected out there. When you go out there with your small skill that you know, other people are going to embrace you and you're going to learn from them and they're going to welcome you and they're going to give you their ideas, their everything that they have because they believe someone who comes from far is much more knowledgeable. When I travel to a different country, 
I see people approaching me in a different way than the way I'm approached here. People are saying, wow, you're the guy, the YouTube guy who speaks and who talks about business. You know, I saw your book. I have about 14 books that I've written. I saw your book somewhere. You're that guy. But here, nobody will even worry about you. You walk in the streets and nobody cares because this is home. And it's normal. It's it's kawaida. It's, it's a normal thing. So please go out. Learn from other people. Improve your brain and see if you'll not become success. Uh-huh. Number eight, clear out all clutter. In your house, if your house is full of clutter, clutter is things that you don't need. You have toys, you have this, you have old mobile phone, old clothes, bags, shoes. Your, your bedroom is full, under the beds, everything is full. Come on, succeeding is very hard because once you have a lot of clutter, you think you're rich. Remove clutter from your house. Give out things that you can be able to give. See, what can I be able to give out to other people? Because also giving is receiving. The more you give, the more you will receive. I know that for fact. If you want to receive, give more. Look at the multi-million companies. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, whoever and whoever. All those top people, even here in Africa, even here in Kenya. Look at the biggest companies. They're always giving out. Why? Because giving is a form of receiving. For us, we hold so many things. Hold a lot of clutter. Things you don't use. Old shoes, old clothes. Come on, you can't wear 50 clothes and all of them are old. Give them out. Number nine, this is what I was talking uh, about before there. That is focus on one thing at a time. It's not about outlet of money, but focusing on a business. Focus on a business or something that you're doing. An art, a skill, an idea. Focus on one major thing and give it your all. If you're a footballer, become the best footballer there could ever be. So don't become a footballer and you're a basketballer and you're also a rugby player. You're also this focus on one thing at a time give it your all of course you can have other sources of income here and there but a skill focus on your skill one thing at a time focus until you reach the end and you say this is my end i've tried i've tried everything it's over or oh, i can now grow to another thing when facebook was starting they started with facebook alone they focused with facebook and as time went by, when they grew and they got the muscles and everything, now they opened Instagram, they opened uh, WhatsApp, and so forth. And it grew slowly by slowly. Focusing on a thing at a time will make you uh, become better in 2020. Number, uh, number 10. Avoid buying things that you don't need. Avoid buying things that you don't need. If you buy things that you don't need, soon you'll be selling things that you need. If you buy a mobile phone and you don't need it, you will soon be selling something that you totally need because you bought a certain junk. If you're buying new shoes every day, you'll end up start selling your TV because you have this and this, or you buy a... I don't know how to explain, but... You get my point, huh? You get my point. Buy only what you need. Buy only what you need. Don't don't keep on buying every... A hawker comes and tells you, Hey, hey, hey we're selling, we're selling uh, cooking pans here, cooking pans here. And you end up buying. Of course, we, we are lured because every day you can be lured for some on something new. I bought so many padlocks. <laughs> I, I remember one day I, uh, I was in a bus stage and this hawk has come with padlocks he gave me a very nice story about that padlock and i ended up buying a padlock then uh, when i reach at home i'm asking myself why 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 on earth did i buy a padlock do i even need a padlock by the i have one already my house is locked but why did i have to buy another one those are the things i'm talking about before you buy open your mind don't be like me uh huh number 11 keep all your bills on auto pay keep all your bills on auto pay we have bills. Bills come in, bills go. Bills come in, bills go. We have house rent, we have water, we have electricity, we have uh, paying of workers, we have paying of this, paying of that. Please put them on automatic payments. I was laughing uh, last month, uh, just before the end of the month, uh, before we got to New Year, around 27th, 26th 
date 26 27 there a friend of mine was telling me hi i really don't understand how comes that on 27th of this month i'm still not broke hi and i'm used to having a lot of money and then two days later he tells me oh my friend keith do you know what do you know the reason i was thinking i'm not broke is because i had not paid my house rent <laughs> that's what happens if you don't automate your bills you end up thinking you're rich but it's only your bills that you've not paid and you have to pay these bills there's no there's no other thing you have to pay those bills please automate your bills automate your bills and the final point is stay in touch with people who matter we have people who matter to us friends family relatives uh, acquaintances and every person who makes some sense to your life not uh, i'm not saying the other people are bad you can make them friends but keep in touch with people who matter i always tell musicians one thing a musician uh, sends me maybe a certain link on uh, whatsapp and then they tell me who oh, cave please share this one to 10 people hey promote me promote me then i'm like dude hold on you have not talked to me for the last one year. Why should I be sharing to 10 people? Why should I be sharing to 10 people your your post? Come on, you have not been in touch with me. You have not. This is what happens when musicians release a new song. They are all over your inboxes. Send please promote, send me but they never keep in touch. If you check very well, if you're my friend on WhatsApp eh, or, or or my my personal contact, you know one thing that I always do. Even if even if we have not uh, we are not as close as what i'm always sending you a message just hello just uh, a little you know i laugh at your jokes when you put a status a whatsapp status i will laugh on your status i will do i will try to interact and make you feel that we are together you know we are together because a time will come i will also need you to help me i will also want to feel your presence in my things and that is the basic of life don't keep in touch only when you have uh, uh, you, you need people to help you. I see when, when we have a tragedy like somebody has died or something like that. That is the only time you see people now forming groups and adding you in groups or maybe when people are uh, um, are getting married. Hey, there's a dowry payment. Please join my group. Join my group. My friend, other people we just left. They'll be like, huh? How on earth are you adding me on your WhatsApp group for dowry repayment and you never even talk to me? Please, keep in touch with people. Thank you very much. Those are my 12 points on how we can make realistic resolutions for 2020. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe down there and press that notification button so that you don't miss a video like this one. I love you guys and have a blessed, blessed new year. Say hi to everyone and share this video. Come on, do it for me.